so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this ice lake in the blender with the help of the landscape add-on so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial before starting the tutorial guys i just want to wish to all of you happy christmas and enjoy your day and stay tuned with me guys so let's start the tutorial so first of all i'm just going to open my blender so here you can see we are uh, in blender now and this is the same project file so first of all i just want to start a new file and i'm just going to don't save so here you can see guys here we have a one new file here so first of all i just want to rid of this cube pressing the x and delete then i'm just going to press the n and going to enable my screen cast key so you can easily see which key i'm pressing by the way on the left hand side okay and now i'm just going to hit the n again and i will just move my cursor to this create section and here you will see we have one option it's called landscape okay and if i will click on this landscape so here you can see now we have one landscape here okay and if you not found this option in your create option so make sure you just go your edit section and preference and after that you have to just go to your add-on section and from here you have to just search the landscape you will see the a and t landscape add-on and apart from that guys you have to just enable one more add-on it's called uh, a real snow okay both are blender inbuilt add-on you don't need to download from anywhere you will get it this add-on inbuilt in blender and why i'm going to insist to you to install this add-on because with the help of the real snow will create a snow material so we don't need to we don't need to create any kind of uh, snow material we'll get a pre uh, made snow so that's why i'm telling to you to install this add-on by the way okay so now i'm just going to cut this and here you can see when i click on the uh, landscape so you will see something like that so first one i'm just going to delete it once more and going to going to do same process once again and here you can see when i click on this on the left hand side we have a lots of options here so first one i'm just going to make this ice lake so for making the ice lake i will use the uh, some default preset which is already having this add-on so i'm just going to my operator preset section and here we have a lots of options okay you can try you can use you can create any kind of so right now i'm just going to use this lake 2 uh, preset from the here and here you can see when i click this lake 2 preset option so right now here you can see we have a some kind of lake uh, effect here lake shape here and we have a one water uh, plane also under this lake here you can see if i will turn off this water plane so it will gone and if i will enable it so it will automatically create this uh, water plane here as well okay and uh, after that you don't need to change any kind of setting from the here just keep it by default okay and if you want some uh, further changes and if you want some further uh, detailing so you can just use these preset which is give you some good result basically but uh, i found this these uh, default setting uh, good to me so if you want to keep uh, this by default that's fine okay so here you can see here we have uh, some random seeds so from the here you will get some different kind of lake shape okay so i found this 8 one and by default one is good to me and from this operator preset i like the most this volcano preset here you can see when i just click on this volcano we have a very good kind of volcano uh, shape here okay we just need to create some material for it and it will look like a volcano okay but uh, now i'm just going to change this lake to yeah that's look fine to me okay so our lake is done so now i'm just going to use the the uh, real snow add-on which is i have told you to install it so first one i'm just going to add one spare here and i'm just going to keep this spare here by the way and then i'm just going to my real snow add-on here here you can see this is our real snow add-on and from here i'm just going to uh, click this add snow so this real snow will create some uh, snow according to our uh, shape so here you can see here we have a one snow here on top of this spare okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to use this uh, snow material here you can see if i will just switch my uh, viewport shading mode so here you can see we have uh, some good uh, snow material and if i will go to my shading panel so here you can see we have uh, some um, pre-generate nodes which is good to us okay and what i'm going to do exactly i'm just going to um, select my lake here lake hill by the way this one and then i'm just going to my material section and from the here i'm just going to use this snow material for this okay and here you can see it's uh, wrapped very nicely on top of this lake by the way let's look fine 
and if you want some smoothness on your leg so you can just use the uh, sub surface modifier pressing the control 2 and you can increase some render amount from here okay I think that's fine so now I'm just going to rid of this spare from the here and now I'm just going to add the uh, water color so I'm just going to select this plane then I'm just going to uh, add one new material so from here first of all I'm just going to change this surface as a glass BSDF okay so it will look like this here you can see and then I'm just going to add the color which is I have already created so I'm just going to paste this code here yeah you can use this same code as well so here you can see it will look like this okay so then I'm just going to decrease the roughness because we don't need the roughness because we are going to uh, show the water that's why I'm going to decrease the roughness so if you want so you can just keep it a little bit 0 0.1 I think that's look fine yeah 0 0.7 that's look fine and I'm just going to uh, set this IOR 1.333 yeah that's look fine to me by the way so now I'm just going to add one more plane under this lake going to scale this plane and now I'm just going to keep it this little bit downside then I'm just going to um, add new material on it and I'm just going to keep it little dark okay and make sure to decrease this roughness value okay and now I'm just going to set one camera angle so from here I'm just going to set this camera angle pressing the alt control 0 so you can see it look fine then I'm just going to my view setting and from the view I'm just going to unlock my camera then I'm just going to set this view something like that okay then I'm just going to switch my rendering engine as a cycle then I'm just going to set my device as a GPU and then I'm just going to enable my viewport denoising so here you can see it will look like this and now I'm just going to set the lighting as a SDRI and here I'm just going to use one of my favorite SDRI it's called uh, lake yeah that's look fine okay and I'm just going to do a little bit rotate so I think that's look fine to me so here you can see when I will uh, hit the F12 so it will look like this so that's how you can create this lake uh, in the blender with the help of the landscape add-on and the real snow add-on also because with the help of the real snow we get the that snow material which is looking more realistic by the way and you can use it also and both add-on are uh, default add-on so you don't need to download any add-on from the internet okay you don't need to worry about it you will get the both add-on in the blender okay in your blender and uh, one more time guys happy christmas to all of you and th thanks for watching this video guys and if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comments so bye bye take care and stay home guys